We got some new music, people. Got four songs for you today. Four. Four bangers. Four bangers I've been adding lately. And I'd highly recommend you add these to your crates. I do this almost every week as long as I have new bangers to share with you. These are proven. These are played. These are proven. First one, Mariah Carey, Fantasy. You guys remember that? There's the ODB remix, right? Whoa, in the house, there's Brooklyn in the house, whatever. You could play that or the original. I don't know. I, I don't think anyone matters. Uh, some people prefer the ODB. Some people prefer the original. I just like going right to that chorus. When you walk, or not the chorus, the verse. The walk out every night, talking be up, oh, whatever. I don't know the words of one song, but that shit. That's, that's a great ass um, uh, that, that, that's a great ass song. Girls love it. It's in my white girl folder. Um, I, I think it's a clutch song. It's not like super upbeat. Some people might sleep on it because it's not like a crazy upbeat and shout out to JC for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Um, some people might sleep on it because it's not a beat, but it's one of those songs that just has great lyrics and it just, it's it, early on, especially if you're building up, like this is one of the songs I played at my day wedding where I was watching the progression of their lunches and they had a few bites left. So I slowly wanted to build it up, right? I played this, I played Return, uh, Return of the Mac, right? Like that kind of, it's the same kind of beat. And uh, it's, it's those in-between songs. I would play this during dancing too, if you mix it the right way and you program it right. But like, it's also great in-between. People are going to bop, right? A couple people got up and started dancing to this. It's a great song. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Don't sleep on it because it's a little slower. Speed it up. Just speed it up. Next, I hate this song, but it's been working. Um, this is Dynamite by BTS, the uh, the Korean super, super pop group. Uh, they got another song too, uh, Smooth Like Butter, something smooth like butter, or some shit like that. Um, I don't play that yet, but uh, this has been out for a while. This has uh, been winning. All, it's won all kinds of awards. It was number one for Mad Long. Everybody knows it. It's a little cheesy, but like I would play this like if if your crowd is going to respond to like TikTok by Kesha, Timber by Kesha, uh, Dynamite by Teo Cruz, like that. There's a wordplay in there somewhere, right? Like you know those basic type songs, right? If your crowd is respond responding to the super basic white girl stuff, they will respond to this. Um, if they're a little more mature and you're not playing all that white girl stuff, that you're not playing Spice Girls, you're not playing all the basic shit, right? Um, then I wouldn't play this. I don't think it's going to work. It's like two, it's like a kiddie song, right? But like if you have a younger couple in their mid 20s, right? Not late 20s, but like 25, 26 ish, um, they're dialed in. And, and in general, they just like the, the super duper white girl stuff. It will work 100%, you know, whether you like it or not. I, I, I really can't stand the song, but like it's just been going off. So. I had to share it with you guys, so definitely add it if you don't already have it. Hand Clap by Fits and Tantrums. Now, this is a very famous uh, song, very popular song, came out a few years ago. Um, it's been used in a lot of intros. I don't know if you guys have ever had a request for this for introductions. Um, couples will come out and you know, uh, you'll say their name and then you play it at the chorus. I can make your hand clap, da, 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 right? It's a great in-between song. Um, again, if you play it like fantasy, right? With Mariah Carey, like I mentioned earlier, you know, building up your dance floor or building up, trying to build up a dance floor organically coming out of dinner. It's great for that. It is good. You can drop it in the middle of dancing, but you got to know your crowd. You got to know it's going to work. You know, um, things like this, if they're into hipster stuff, right? If they're into, um, and I say hipster, it's probably not even hipster, but like if they're into like big wild or if they're into like, uh, I don't know. What's that one band? I can't even think of it off the top of my head. But like they're into like funky kind of electronica music, right? Like just funky kind of, you know, in, the, in that groove. They, they, they request like a couple songs that peanut, Galantis, that was the other one, Galantis, a peanut butter jelly time and all the, that, like that type of funky, but like EDM type, you know, music from the last like five years, 10 years. If they're into that, they'll go off to this for sure. You just got to play it right. Have your cues set up. You know what I mean? There's lulls in the song that can kind of like, you know, yeah, so get a good edit or you make sure you have your cue set and you play it in the right way or else you can lose them because there's not, you know, the whole song is not a straight up banger. But if you play it the right way, it'll work. It really work, will work great. Nobody plays this, okay? Nobody plays this. So you're going to set yourself apart. And that's the main reason why I do this. I want you guys to set yourselves apart. You know, if we all play Uptown Funk, if we all play the same shit, I know I say the same stuff every video, but it's true, okay? I'm going to beat the dead horse. If we all play Uptown Funk, if we all play the same shit, 
then we're all the same, okay? Then every bride will price shop. Every bride is just going to be like, whoa, hey, give me a deal because you're the same as every other DJ, right? You're not sticking out. You want to stick out. You want to play different stuff. There, 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 there's way more. There's so much bangers, so much hot fire outside of that top 200, that DJ Intelligence top 200 that you should be playing at your weddings. And that is the purpose of me doing this in my video. So like add this shit to your list. Nobody fucking plays this. Nobody. So you're going to set yourself apart. Trust me. Just do it the right way. You know, p plan it out ahead of time. Maybe even make a mix up. Like don't just wing it. You know what I mean? Like, like bring it up ahead of time at, at home or something or before the wedding and figure out what it mixes with and figure out how you can get into it and how to get out and all that and have a game plan before just in case, of course, but drop it. You'll say. And the last song I want to talk to you guys about uh, is Get Lucky. Now, this is a basic one. This is a song that was a very, very big hit. I think in 2014 it came out, 2013, right? And it was played out, right? When that shit came out, it was played 24-7 on the radio, and it got played out so fast. I, I might have played it a, a handful of times that first year for dancing, and after that, I just stopped playing it. It just seemed slow to me. It just didn't work, right? I just wasn't a fan. I rediscovered this because I was going through some lists on, I think, Spotify, right? I'm just going through music, just looking for new fire or whatever. And they played, um, they had the song on there, but it was the original version. It wasn't the easy mix edit, right? It wasn't the promo only, whatever, with the intro and the outro. It was the original version. And when I heard the original version in my truck, right, in the system, it like built up. So if you play it, look for the original version. Play the original version, right? It starts with a beat, doom, doom. Then the bass comes in, right? Then the guitar comes in. And it's just like a vibe. It just builds up, builds up, and then it just all comes in. And I don't know. It is a I now I real I I re-realize why this shit was a fucking hit. Okay. Cause it is, it is a jam. It is like a bop. And I, I say speed it up. This thing is like 115, 116, maybe speed it up to like 120, 121, but play it. I tried it out on a couple dance floors and it's been bopping. I'm not in there long, right? One chorus and I'm out, but it's it, it it's a great vibe, right? It'll mix with Billie Jean. It'll mix with Emotions by Mar Mariah Carey. It'll mix with the Dynamite shit. It'll mix with all that. It's like right in that. It's another song to have in that middle middle no man's land of the 115s ish, right? You you bring it up to like 120, but like it's a bop and all ages love it, okay? Because it's funky, so it's got an older style, but it's a newer song from the last 10 years. All ages love it. It's great for the first dance set. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Just get the original version. It, it really is that big of a difference. You know, and, and uh, you know, Digital Dave, I feel like I mentioned him once a show. Like, this is the last time I mentioned this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, if you're watching, you're done after this. You're done. <laughs> but um, he had a seminar at Marquee. It was a great seminar. And he talked about what songs to play the original versions of, not the intro version of. And maybe I'll do a segment on my show about this one day. Um, this wasn't one of them, but this is one I think should, should be on the list, right? He mentioned 24K Magic. Like he would start his dance set with 24K Magic from the beginning to night. Like when he's doing that, um, when he has a thing in his mouth and he does that weird little, you know what I'm talking about? Listen to the original 24K Magic by Bruno Mars, right? It, it, it's a cool little intro. And then it like, it scratches in, put your pinky ring, in the moon or whatever the fuck he says, right? And he, he says, he plays it. He'll start the dance floor like that, right? Cold, no slow song to say, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the dance floor is now open. And he hits it from the beginning. So if you, so time to whatever, whatever he says, he, he posts the vocal over top of that beginning part. And then it just comes in. And by the time it comes in with that scratch, people are like already making their way to the dance floor. And then the funky beat drops. And they're just like, move. What you gonna do, right? And he's right. I did that last weekend and it worked great. It worked great. So like analyze songs. Think about songs that you should be dropping from the one that you should be dropping the original version of and not mixing the intro edits. Lean Back is one of them, right? Dun, dun, dun. You can't, you don't beat mix that. That is the most memorable intro of all time, right? Uh, hot in here. Dun, 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 dun. So hot in, right? Like there's a lot of songs that have great introductions. One, two step was another one Dave said in his seminar, right? And I tried it out this weekend and it worked great because you drop the original version of one, two step by Sierra. And it's like, ladies and gentlemen, who we right? Jazzy fizzle, whatever it says that in the beginning, everybody sings the woo wee part. I, I mixed that song. I beat mixed that song forever for the longest, for the last 10 years. Since it came out, I think I've been beat mixing that song, right? I've never dropped. I don't think I've ever once in my life dropped it from the beginning. Never. And man, does it work, right? And I do it right in 115. Like I'm already one 115. I could easily mix it, 
but why? Just, just, I just, I just baby it in. Mm. And everybody's like, ooh, wee. And it does a ooh, wee twice. Automatic, supersonic. People sing along and love it. They automatically recognize what it is. It's a fantastic, like, super well known intro, right? So analyze your library like that. Think of songs that you shouldn't be mixing. That you should, you should be dropping on the one, you should be dropping the original versions because they have super, super memorable beginnings. Think about that. Very, very, very important because now you're not beat mixing everything. Now you're, you're diversifying the way you DJ and, and, and it's going to be more effective as well because, you know, if you beat mix correctly, if you're phrasing correctly and you beat mix it and then when you get out of the next song, it starts on that next verse, right? Like you're supposed to then it still takes people maybe two seconds to like, wait, uh, oh yeah, it's this song. So you could still kind of get a reset, you know what I mean? Like like possibly, you know, when, when you drop it from the one with the original version, people are going to recognize it. People are going to react right away. It's going to be more effective. Trust me, trust me, trust me. Do it. Do it with Get Lucky. Do it with One Two Step. Do it with Lean Back. Do it with Hot in Here. Maybe I'll make up a whole list of this shit, all right? And we'll go over it next show. Maybe. We'll see. But trust me, people.